Coming, Mother. Listen, there's a patient in this hospital, Florence Alexander. Oh, yeah, marvelous person. No, she's not. She's a cheat, a liar, and a crook. Are we talking about the same marvelous person? I knew I'd seen her before. So I went down to records and I ran her through the computer. That woman is a con man. Hey, Miss, we are not talking about the same marvelous person. Yes, we are. You want to hear about it? No, but I'll do anything to avoid talking to my mother. This woman makes a living out of checking into hospitals, arranging an accident, and then suing the hospital for everything they got. She even sued us one time. That's why I remembered her. I can't believe that. Huh. Look at that. Falling off a gurney, slipping in the bathtub, fainting in the hall. Now, those ain't song titles. They really happen. Oh, my God, she's Charlie's patient. When does she check out? This morning. Thank heavens. Maybe we'll be lucky this time. Oh. Uh, excuse me, Florence. Did you see Nurse Johnson come in here? No, I didn't. Oh, dear. You looking for something? Yes, my knitting. I think I left it on the bench down the hall. I hate to be a pest. But would you get it for me, please? I'll get it. I'll be right back. Thank you. I don't know. I, I just ran out of the room for a minute. I, I don't understand. Well, I do. Madam, excuse me. Is this Mrs... Oh. What's going on here? Are you all right, Mrs. Alexander? Oh, John, John, I fell out of bed. The doctor forgot to put up the protective bar. I did? Oh, my arm. I can't move my arm. Gentlemen, this is extremely serious. Don't tell me. Let me guess. You're her lawyer. Exactly. Now, I don't know who's responsible for this obvious case of blatant negligence. But I do know one thing. Somebody's going to pay. Through the nose. Norman. you got to tell me. Tell me I'm not gullible and naive. You're not gullible or naive. Tell me I'm not just plain stupid. Charlie, you are not just plain stupid. Then how in the world can I get taken in by a little old con woman? I don't know. Maybe it's because you're gullible, naive, and just plain stupid. Hello, Dr. Michaels. Hello, Florence. Oh, I know you're angry with me. And I'm sorry about that. But what can I do? I'm not angry with you, Florence. Just disappointed. I thought you respected me. Oh, I do respect you. This is nothing personal, Dr. Michaels. I wouldn't do anything in the world to hurt you. My attorney is suing the hospital, not you. Is that how you keep a clear conscience? Cheating an institution instead of a person? My arm has been injured. The insurance company... Oh, can... the insurance company. That's even more impersonal, isn't it? A big, faceless entity with hordes of money. It wasn't my idea. My attorney told me... Oh, come on, Florence. You sue and what happens? Our insurance rates go up. Who pays for that? The hospital. And who pays the hospital bills? The public. That's you, me, and everybody else. So you're not cheating the insurance company, Florence. You're cheating all of us. Oh, don't tell me about insurance companies. You ask me about my husband. Well, I'll tell you. My husband died in a hospital. He died of medical negligence. And a whole team of insurance company lawyers cheated me out of a settlement. Maybe you were cheated, Florence. I don't know. But if you were, you know what it feels like. Now, I'm not going to be here when you check out, because i got to go downtown and give my deposition to the attorneys. Probably win your case. You usually do. Dr. Michaels, I really wish you understood. I wish I didn't. Goodbye, Florence. Hey, Charlie, how goes the battle? Let me ask. How could she do this to me? I understand how she could do it to you, Norman, but to me. Ah, oh, yes, well, that's the crux of the matter, isn't it? You see, he wasted all that devotion on an ungrateful woman. She double-crossed him. She did. Mm -hmm. He turned her back on her for a minute, she stuck a knife in it. 